Beneath the thick Venus's sulfurous skies lies a story shrouded in secrecy, one that has baffled scientists, journalists, and even podcasters for decades. The Venera missions uh, were an extraordinary program. Several of the Veneras didn't even attempt to land. One of them lasted 127 minutes. The Soviet Venera missions sent back the only photos ever taken from the planet's surface. But insiders claim the Soviets withheld the whole truth. The Soviet Union wanted to be the first nation to send back a picture from the surface of another planet, and that planet was Venus. Wired structure appeared in the images, core data disappeared, and failed missions were quietly buried in documents. What was left for the public were carefully curated glimpses, just enough to marvel at the engineering marvels, but left many questions unanswered. We put it out to our scientific friends uh, to pressure test it, to analyze it, and go, did, did we get this right? Do we think this is signs of ancient life? Each view of the Venera data raises new questions. Were the anomalies just glitches, or did the Soviets capture something extraordinary? Decades of hidden debates, missing files, and unexplained phenomena make Venus one of the most tantalizing mysteries in space exploration. As of now, after all these years, fragments of the truth are starting to emerge. The Venera record of what was landed and photographed. When the Soviets set their sights on Venus, they ventured where no one else could, land on the hottest planet in the solar system, and send proof back to Earth. The Venera mission survived heat that melts lead and pressure that crushes steel, capturing the only real photos ever taken from Venus's surface. The images showed fractured rocks and an eerie orange glow, barren yet strangely familiar. Later missions brought color panoramas that stunned the world. But behind the Soviet pride lay secrets, lost probes, missing files, and missions that vanished without a trace. Scientists say the surviving photos are rare windows into another world, yet decades later sparked a question about what happened to the rest of the data and why so much stays concealed. A sci-fi suspense turn, Joe Rogan claims to know what the Soviets saw beneath Venus's poisonous clouds. And if he's right, the mystery is far deeper than imagined. How quirky cameras expose secrets buried in Venera's data. The Venera cameras weren't the sleek, digital instruments we take for granted today. They were intricate mechanical marvels, engineered to endure Venus's hellish environment temperatures hot enough to melt lead, crushing pressures over 90 times that of Earth, and acidic, poisonous clouds. Every component was designed to survive where no human or machine had ever gone before. Even their lens covers, designed for hell, sometimes failed to open. When that happened, the cameras captured strange, fragmented, partial landscape images that appeared distorted, odd, and often unexplainable. For decades, these flaws hinted at life, and theories that stretched far beyond the bounds of engineering. Years later, as modern computing and imaging technology advanced, scientists returned to the old telemetry. They carefully refined the raw data, line by line, correcting for glitches, timing errors, and artifacts caused by moving parts. What appeared was astonishing. The mysteries weren't alien, but human. Were not signs of alien life, but pieces of Soviet hardware, lens caps, and transmission distortions. Yet even with the anomalies explained, the panoramas retained each pixel proved their power of human ingenuity, courage, and resilience. The Venera missions had driven engineering and science to their absolute limits, proving that even on the most hostile planet imaginable, humanity could find a way to see, record, and bring back knowledge. These images were more than just pictures. They were windows into a world previously unimaginable, evidence of our resolve to explore the unknown, and reminders that behind every pixel lies a story of both triumph and struggle. The legacy of Venera endures, inspiring every new generation of explorers to venture further, dream bigger, and confront the extremes of the universe with relentless curiosity. Uncovering clues in vintage images, could life exist on Venus? For ages, Venus was dismissed as a lifeless inferno, scorching, poisonous, and unbearable for anything to survive. But that view is changing. Scientists have turned their attention back to the planet, not because of new landings, but because of what's happening in its clouds. Roughly 30 miles above the surface lies a region where the temperature and Earth-like atmospheric pressure Carl Sagan imagined microbes riding the high-altitude clouds of Venus, feeding on sunlight and carbon dioxide. Recent research has revived that dream. Throughout 2020, astronomers announced the detection of phosphine, a gas often linked to biological activity on Earth. The finding shook the scientific world. Could life really exist in the acid skies of Venus? The debate raged on. Some confirmed the signal, 
Others argued it was a data error or another chemical like sulfur dioxide. But one thing was clear, Venus was back on the table. Now, NASA's Da Vinci Plus and Veritas, the European Envision, and Russia's Venera D are all gearing up to return. Their goal is to uncover what was missed decades ago and determine whether those mysterious dusky bands in Venus's atmosphere might be more than just chemistry. Long overlooked, Venus is once again at the heart of humanity's oldest question. Are we truly alone? Or could life be floating in the clouds of our nearest neighbor? The truth they kept buried for decades. Recently, Joe Rogan claimed he unearthed what the Soviets hid about Venus, and the story is stranger than most people grasped. Insiders say he framed it like a mystery unraveled, decades of silence, lost records, and photographs that no one outside Soviet science circles had ever fully seen. The truth wasn't a scheme. It was about secrecy, control, and how information was filtered before reaching the public. The Soviets hid the raw guts of their project, locked away telemetry, failed landers that never touched down, and internal debates never reported. When images were freed, they were carefully curated, only partial panoramas reached the world. Reprocessing the old Venera data with modern computing revealed anomalies, strange shapes, rectangular forms, and curved objects in the landscapes. Expert analysts initially flagged them, sparking tense internal debates over whether they were biological or just hardware debris. Engineers explained them away as lens caps, periscope parts, and scanline glitches. Yet uncertainty lingered. According to Joe, the Soviets didn't hide aliens. They hid the doubt, the failures, and the messy truth behind their triumphs. Decades of raw telemetry, fragmented images, and closed-door discussions created a mosaic of secrecy, showing that even in space exploration, civic matters controlled the view the world was given. Controversy, headlines, and the birth of new science initiatives. When the words life and Venus appeared in the same sentence, the world lost its mind. In 2020, headlines screamed alien life found after scientists reported traces of phosphine gas in Venus's clouds, a chemical that, on Earth, often comes from living things. But inside the labs, excitement met skepticism. Some scientists celebrated a potential milestone. Others tore the data apart. Maybe it wasn't phosphine at all. Maybe just sulfur dioxide or static noise. What followed was one of the most intense scientific showdowns in years. And yet, that controversy changed everything. Within months, NASA and ESA greenlit three new missions, Da Vinci Plus, Veritas, and plans took shape as Russia restarted its long dormant Venera D project. For the first time in decades, Venus was no longer forgotten. The irony? Even if the phosphine vanishes under reanalysis, its impact won't. It revived our age-old curiosity, proving that sometimes a single spark of doubt could spark a new age of discovery and just maybe bring us closer to answering the question, is life beyond Earth real? The next step to the truth, rigorous test and open archive. Venus guards her mysteries buried beneath the clouds. The Soviets touched her surface once, but what they left behind were questions no one could answer. Now, Scientists say it's time to stop guessing and start going back. The next missions won't just survive, they'll search. They'll slice through the toxic clouds, capture the air itself, and look for a chemical profile that could change everything we know about life. New cameras will reveal what the 1970s could only blur, showing Venus in brutal, breathtaking detail. And at last, there will be no secrets. Every bit of data will be open to the world. Because the new era of exploration isn't about control, it's about uncovering the truth hiding on the most mysterious planet in our planetary system. Dare to peer beneath Venus's clouds? Could life really be hiding in the skies above? Drop your opinion in the comments. 